We're here at Eurosport to talk about a brand new machine that's not only new to Eurosport's catalog, but to the UK market as well. So Andrew, what is this brand new machine you brought in? So this is the Eurospark X400 uh, EDM small hole drill. So this is our entry level uh, EDM drill, it's a ZNC machine and it's there to bridge the gap between uh, maybe somebody who doesn't want to go all the way to a CNC but uh, still needs to drill those small holes through hardened material. So before we get into this machine, what is an EDM drill for, them, for the people at home who don't actually know what it is? So yeah, it's like a, a dicing EDM, but it uses high pressure flushing through uh, uh, brass or copper tubes, and it's much faster than your conventional uh, die sinking uh, EDM, uh, but it allows you to drill holes all the way from 0.3 to 3 mil um, rapidly. So this is, and this also has a 400 mil stroke, so it's, it can go through quite thick work pieces. So what are people actually using this type of machine for? Again, it's start holes uh, for, say, their wire machine. So again, when you've got really hard materials, but also sort of pilot holes. And again, with it going up to three mil, uh, we can also get production work out of them. So let's get this right. It's like a manual lathe. Every company should have one of these, even if it's tucked away somewhere because it can just get you out of jail. Exactly. Uh, traditionally, you know, people think of it for like broken taps, it can get you out of trouble, or if you've accidentally sent something off for heat treating, uh, you can put that extra hole in that you forgot about previously. But also, if you're just generally drilling harder material, or something that's a bit awkward, so you know, with, with the EDM process, uh, there's no wandering like you would get on a drill, drill bit, it just drills straight through, so even through the side of a ball bearing, or through a, uh, the edge of a workpiece. So, what's it like to actually program or set up? How, how easy and how quick is it for me to get this running? I would say this is no more complicated than a standard pillar drill. Uh, you've got your, your feed down and you've got your power setting and generally speaking within minutes you can have it drilling holes and then you can pitch over and move it over. It's literally four buttons to turn the spindle on, turn the water on and then turn the spark on. Even with four buttons I think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> so what sort of size work pieces can I get on this? So it's a 300 by 400 table and then it's also got a 300 by 400 movement in the X and Y. Um, between the guide and the uh, table, the, the bed itself, um, you can move the back carriage up to 300 mil as well. Now, we've learned all about the machine, but there's got to be an element of stress on your part about bringing in a brand new machine into the market that we've not really heard of and hoping it works. So, what did you do to make sure this machine was actually ready for the market? Uh, we went over to the States, it's a machine that uh, one of our partners in the States already sells, so that was a, a big uh, advantage to us. Uh, we also then got one in, did about two months of testing in-house to make sure that everything works as expected. Uh, we then asked a select customer to take one on board. They have used it every day for the last 12 months, been in production every day and have had no issues. So now we're happy to do a wider launch of the range itself. So. How can people get their hands on one of these and do you have them in stock right now? So we've got three machines as you can see in stock available. We can get them out as soon as next week. Uh, so really just get in touch with us. <laughs>